only have uh, 50 people, you know, that we're carrying. First of all, my payroll is getting to a point where if I don't raise the monies, I'm in trouble. And uh, we might be fortunate enough to receive the monies through the uh, federal government, and that'll carry me for two years, but I hope to have new communities coming on and some going off on their own. Uh, it might be good to describe how Mitch and Al in that mini workshop spun out from doing NDP planning or urban renewal planning, which is now being done on a sort of a paid basis by paid staff rather than our people. And now our guys are doing mostly architectural projects. Uh, I know in Mill Creek they're trying to get the PAC funded to do planning. I think probably the best part of the whole meeting was that the block, block representatives were thinking for the first time in terms of the whole area, so they were able to give us information about what uh, kind of recreation facility. Show me facility. where were you located last night. We were up here at the Mill Creek Community Center. Center. And we met uh, block representatives from here, here, and uh, well, in this area. 46 and right. Plus, over the extension, Mr. Shields, Shields, Mr. Trippett. And it was amazing. They were, they were thinking beyond, beyond their own block. And Marion Avenue, uh, we're possibly going to get a, a reversal. In, in yeah, they had decided they did not want this property acquired at all, but they want a rehab program running in, along here. Now the residents there are saying they, they perhaps would like to reconsider it and have these homes acquired and some kind of buffer zone perhaps put in here. This was agreed last night. Yeah, yeah. and well, it's also agreed that meeting will be agreed. Um, There's going to be another meeting with the people who live in this area. They begin to deal with the issues. They begin to make their interpretations before the city authorities. And they begin to negotiate, hard-line negotiation, with technical professional skills that back them up. This is a new day and a new era. They have not only accepted the program, they've taken the program to a point where it's grown fast and I can keep up with it. We have seven mini workshops. The reason why we have the seven workshops is that after providing service for a broad variety of community groups throughout the city, the individual leaders began to come to me and say, well, listen, this has been good and we've helped some changes to take place in our community, but we need this seven days a week. If we could have this service right here in our community every day, then we can get to our architect any time we needed him. I agreed that I would begin to work up a program and a proposal that would help them establish many workshops in the area. As a result, I met with the community representatives and we toured the areas and they made decisions on what sites they wanted and I developed a proposal with VISTA and asked them to provide me with full-time architectural services. The most important facet of the workshop is that we do not do anything for anybody. That community organizations must request our help and skills and then we do the best we can with them. Well, what happened was, as we began to get into the zoning question, and this was our first concern, we began to realize that there were so many other programs that might be available and so many other things that had to be done in urban planning. Uh, and we knew we didn't have the expertise in our own community to do this. We know we had no money. So the question became, um, what kind of an organization would you turn to or who would you go to? And this is how we came then to the Architects Workshop. Uh, we had two architects come down from them who volunteered to begin to work with us. And the question was, we needed a comprehensive plan for our area. Well, Pennsport um, community covers 44 city blocks. Basically, it's a very old, traditional, stable community. It's Irish, Polish, and predominantly Catholic. And the economic level of the community is what's now being called uh, working class. We knew what we wanted, but we couldn't put it in the terms that, say, the City Planning Commission could accept or the Redevelopment Authority. And so the two architects began to work with us uh, in putting our ideas into the proper form so that we could go to uh, City Planning Commission hearings and present the documents and things like this that, that we felt were important to us. 